Yeah, just pop it on there and just smooth it all the way up. Yep. So the most inferior slice just shows the small renal tumour just on the bottom left of the screen there. Okay. So we know that's a slice, we're just going to make a mark on the skin. It's going to be pressing onto your skin now. And that's where we're going to be putting our local anaesthetic. Okay, so I'm just going to put some more local anaesthetic in now. So we're just using a slightly longer needle, aiming along the same trajectory that we're going to be doing our ablation along. Just going to check our position. Take a small breath in now, hold it there. Okay, so that looks bang on target. Just going to make a small nick. So the cool tip ablation needle, this is a short 10 centimetre needle which should be long enough to get to the relatively superficial lesion that we're aiming for. And it has a 3 centimetre ablation tip. So these are the connection tubings for the irrigation to keep the tip of the needle cool. It's a closed circuit so this doesn't actually come into contact with the patient. So that's the tubing being put through the pump. Connected to a cold bag of saline. Very simple machine now, much easier to use than the previous version. All we need to do here is press standard ablation and the machine pretty much does the rest for us. Then we select the electrode and the time is set to 12 minutes. Right, so we're just going to position our needle now into the lesion. Okay, take a breath in for me. Hold it there. And breathe away. Okay, so that we need to be aiming slightly more towards the feet. Breathe away. Okay, so we're virtually into the lesion there, so we just need to go another centimetre or so and we'll be in it, providing we get the same level of inspiration, of course. Okay. Immediately drop down from the 37 degrees of the patient, and of course now all the fluid's pumping through, let's drop the temperature right down. So once the system is primed, all the airs out of the system, the ablation will start automatically. Now the ablation is set for 12 minutes at the moment, but I suspect given the size of this region, 12 minutes will uh, be too long and we'll be able to cut the ablation down to about 6 or 7 minutes. So the ablation started now, you can see it's 58, 59 watts at the moment. The impedance, 73 ohms. As the impedance goes up, the power will drop off and then it'll cycle and it'll start ramping up the power again. Okay, it's on its way. So the pump's turned off now, the ablation's finished, five and a half minutes. You can see the temperature's reached at least 81 degrees, which is a good ablation. So we're now going to do track ablation to make sure we don't get any seeding along the track. So we select the electrode again and it's set to 85 degrees as the target and the machine will adjust the power accordingly as I slowly withdraw the needle. So I'm just going to press start and I'm going to slowly withdraw the needle now and it's quite superficial so we're just going to stop the ablation there and that's just finished. Okay.